Penny and these are the Kid Vision Kids and we're here today at so much fun to learn how to sew. Well thank you for coming and visiting us. So much fun was started because there's lots of people that enjoy sewing and in fact sewing started way back even in the caveman days. Good, so I think we're ready to learn about sewing. Super, let's go. Okay. from experience that when you're going to sew something, the first thing you need is a pattern. Can you tell us about patterns, please? Absolutely. We go to the store and we're going to look through books or look for things like this that are going to give us ideas for what we can make. The information on the back gives us information about what size is included. It tells you what fabric they suggest and it tells you what notions. And notions is something that we use to help us finish the project. It then tells you, based on your size and what you want to make, how much fabric you need. Can we open it up and see what it looks like inside? Absolutely. We have the instructions and we have the pattern pieces. What is this instructions? What does it tell you? This is telling us exactly step by step what we need to do and then it gives you also a picture of how to do it. We open up the tissue paper and we find the pieces that we need. And you, you can see on the pattern here that there's lots of lines and these different lines are for the different sizes. You put the pattern on your fabric yes. and then you cut on along the line of the pattern. Exactly. What we do is we take it and we would use pins and pin this on to the fabric and then cut it out. Different things that you want to make have different amount of pieces to use. Absolutely. So if we wanted to make a pillow, how many pieces would we need? We really only need one and it's basically a square. And I've made one for each of you and we're going to take our fabric and pin this onto our fabric so we can cut out the right size. And what would we need next? Fabric. Fabric. That's fabulous. All right. Let's find some fabrics. Let's go. <laughs> Let's talk about the fabrics or the material that we're going to make our pillows out of. One of our favorites is cotton and that's probably what we'll make our pillows out of. It's a nice fabric, it's easy to work with, it's a natural fabric so it breathes when we wear it. We also have another woven one that a lot of people are, are familiar ah. with and this one is our denim. This is what we make our blue jeans out of or our shorts and things like that. It's a nice, heavy, tough fabric. And knits are fabrics that are actually knitted, okay, where as the others were woven, these are actually knitted in the machine. And because of that, they very stretchy. Then we have specialty fabrics. This one is a fabric that is actually a uh, knit, but it is made into lace. This okay. one is a specialty fabric. We refer to this as chiffon. Okay, it's one that you can actually see through, look through there. So once we have our pattern, and then we have our fabrics chosen, we're gonna sew it, but we need tools, right? We do need tools. And what are sewing tools called? They're called notions. Okay, so before we get to the notions, I think we need to get busy picking our fabrics, okay? I think we have our fabrics. Yes. Well, now that we have our pattern, we have our fabric, and now we're ready to learn about notions. Notions are all the other things that you need for helping to make your different pieces. So the tools are more like your scissors, your, your seam ripper to help you take out stitches, your tape measure so we can measure our fabric, our pins so we can pin the fabric together, and our thread. And then there's another category of notions of things that we need to actually complete our projects, such as zippers and buttons and snaps and things like that. Everything on this wall is a notion. These are our needles to sew our things by hand, and then we have sewing machine needles over here. Wow, and then we have so many colors of threads. 
So you want to get a thread that matches your fabric, correct? That is correct. Okay. So what tools do we need to actually work on our pillows? For our pillow, we're going to need some scissors, we're going to need some thread, and we're going to need some straight pins to pin it. What are notions? The tools. The tools we need. And what kind of notions do you have? Um, buttons. You have buttons. Zippers. What other things? And zippers. Okay, so you guys feel like we have all the materials we need to make yes. the pillows? Yes. yes. Yeah, ready to make it. All right. Thumbs up. Well, I think we're finally ready to sew. We have our fabric, we have our pattern, we have our notions, and so what's the first step? We're going to take our pattern piece and we're going to place it on the fabric. So we're gonna pin the corners of the pattern and then we're gonna pin in between. What do we do now? We're ready to cut it out. We're going to cut around the outside of the pattern. It's best if you open the scissors all the way and close all the way. Look at that. It's pinned and cut. That's right. And now what is the next thing? Now we're ready to get started with the sewing. Most of the time in sewing, we put pretty sides together. That way, when we sew it, It'll be pretty outside. We are sewing it inside out. And again, we're going to pin it. I'm going to make an X with my pins at one spot. And what that means is I'm not going to sew there. So when we get done, I can turn the right side out. You would think that making a pillow would be so easy, but there's a lot to do. We're going to take our thread and we're going to take our sewing hand needle and we're going to take the thread and put it through what's called the eye of the needle. All right, so I'm going to take the needle and I'm going to put it through both layers of the fabric and pull it all the way through. And we're going to go up and down and go all the way around till we get to the edge. Sewing takes a long time when you're doing it by hand. I can imagine how long it takes to make one garment. That's why we have a sewing machine. Ha ha. A sewing machine actually has two threads, one that comes from up here and goes through the needle, but also one that comes from the bottom called a bobbin. And when the two come together, it basically makes a loop around the other and makes a stitch. So we're going to start at the beginning and we're going to put down what's called our presser foot because it presses down on the fabric. Put our foot on the pedal and we're going to sew forward. all sewed on a machine and what is our next step? Our next step is the fun part. What we're going to do is take and turn the pillow out that little hole that we left right where the X is. So next we have our big bag of stuffing and we have some chopsticks to help us push it down. Now that we've stuffed it, we want to close the pillow up. so much, Miss Lori, and so much fun. Thank you. Thank you for coming to So Much Fun. It was a good time. It was a great time. And you guys made new pillows. Yes. And you know a little bit about sewing. Bye.